Mr. President, it's General Carville at the Pentagon on Line 5. This is Dugan. Mr. President, I'm afraid we have a heck of a situation down here. How bad could it be, Ben? According to NORAD, we've got Soviet aircraft coming out of small directions and ground troops pushing up through Mexico. I don't know how they snuck in on us. You better double check this with NORAD. This doesn't make any sense. I'll call the Kremlin. Will do. Da, Premier Romanov here. What's going on over there, Alex? Why, Mr. President? Whatever do you mean? Alex, I... I have, um... You're throwing everything you've got at us, Alex. We're supposed to be allies, you maniac. I'm the one that put you into office. Listen! Very I am not your pet, Mr. President. We Romanovs have our legacy to consider. I don't give a wooden nickel about your legacy. You call them off. Alex, you call them off. You know, we'll retaliate. Oh, don't be so sure, Mr. President. Sir. Verification? You bet you. Sweet mother. It's time to hit back. Make it happen. Yes, sir. This is General Carville. Soviet invasion confirmed. Execute Paul Charter 010 Adam Delta Charter. Have confirmation. Missiles prime. Armed. Missile command. 10 seconds to launch. Open the missile silos. Jerry, what? We have to open the silos or they'll explode under... The silo doors are closed! This is suicide! Is it done, Yuri? No, Comrade Premier. It has only begun. Commander, good morning. We've successfully instituted the President's Emergency Lazarus Protocol. I'm Lieutenant Eva, the intel officer assigned to your command. And since you're the only commander left alive, I guess I'm pretty lucky to have a job. It appears that we have suffered a full-scale Soviet invasion. Nearly all our major cities are under siege and our forces are in complete disarray. Please stand by, Commander. We have an incoming broadcast from General Carville at the Pentagon. I hope you're rested and ready, Commander, because as of 0800 hours, you are in control of every satellite, base, tank, airplane, enlisted man, woman, and child in the eastern United States. You answer to the President, and you answer to me. Your ops officer and vital lifeline will be the Lieutenant. 
Your point man for this mission will be Special Agent Tanya. General, I hope the commander is up to speed because we don't have time to waste. I'm sure Tanya has every confidence in you, Commander. Oh, you're sure? Well, it's not your life that's on the line out here. <laughs> She's the best there is, but you'll get along better with the Soviets. You'll get started immediately. First stop, New York. The lieutenant will give you the details. Not long ago, the Soviets made an amphibious landing on Manhattan Island and are using their ground troops to systematically take over the city. Fortunately, we still have a hold on Fort Bradley, but our comlink has been severed. If you can get Agent Tanya into Bradley, she will re-establish the link. Good luck, Commander. I offer special invitation to citizens of the United States from the Great Soviet Union. See your liberty, how she lies broken before you. In but a moment's time, your once powerful city of New York will follow in her footsteps. The choice is yours. You can continue to mourn your past or surrender and join us in the Great Soviet Revolution. Good work, Commander. We're back in contact with the fort. Tanya has sent over intel on the location of an important Soviet supply base in the area. General Carville would like you to dispose of it ASAP. Oh, keep up the good work, sir. Tanya here. Listen up, we got a couple commie dreadnoughts in the harbor, looking for a special sightseeing tour of the Hudson River. I say we give him a very special view of the bottom first. Mr. President, the Europeans will be asking for our help before too long. Yes, sir. I'll take care of it. Just ain't right. We shouldn't have to beg for help from anyone. Premier Romanov's got that whole continent shaking in their boots. Romanov sending his bulldog general Vladimir in for our air bases. His forces are romping through the country like an angry bull at the Texas rodeo. At 0500 this morning, we detected a large force of Soviet tanks assembled near the Air Force Academy at Colorado Springs. Sir, urgent transmission from Agent Tanya in the field. It looks like the commies have captured the Academy, General. Well, why the devil did you wait till now to contact us? We can't let Vladimir take that air base. With all due respect, sir, we've been a little busy. Commander, get Tanya out of the hole she dug for herself and make her useful, would you? I'm sure she'll appreciate it. The heck? We seem to have lost Tanya's transmission. Go to it, Commander. I've located a group of rocketeers in Colorado Springs. They're ready to move in on our orders. Woo! Shake it, baby! And in short order, we will all, young and old, pledge allegiance to our new leader, Premier Romanov of the USSR. Commander! <laughs> Your performance in Colorado was pretty darn impressive. But things have changed since you've been away fighting. The war is over. What I've come to realize is that the commies and us want the same things. You know, female I don't think we need to hear any more of that. State. It appears that the President and even General Carville are under the influence of a Soviet psychic beacon. It's a mind control device developed by this man. This is Yuri. Our intelligence sources now believe that Yuri and his psychic corps are the ones responsible for compromising our defenses before the invasion. Right now, the Soviets control much of the population in the area. Oh, don't worry, Commander. I'm not red yet. Intelligence has not yet determined the exact location of the beacon, but you can be sure it will be heavily guarded by the Soviets. I can link you to all the unaffected troops in the area, Use them to destroy the beacon. With the beacon destroyed, the president will be free to secure a safer location.
Commander! Whatever it is we're paying you, it isn't enough. I don't know how you got us out of this mess, but I'm extremely grateful. After this is over, I'm going to promote you to whatever you like, except President. <laughs> Keep an eye out, Commander. I need you out there. I don't know what the Sam Hill happened back there, Commander. But as you can see, we're getting set right here. I know Canada. More cows up here than people. Well, let's get to work. The lieutenant will fill you in. It looks like General Vladimir just hit Chicago hard. The nearest available forces are across Lake Michigan. Intel suggests an amphibious assault across the lake. Well, I guess it's the first time for everything. Good luck, Commander. Commander, we have just received an intelligence report on Soviet activity in the Chicago area. This is a psychic amplifier. Our theory is that if turned on, it can do to the country what the psychic beacon did to Washington. General Carville wants you to find it and destroy it. Commander, they never saw us coming. That was splendid. Hear me, you foul American phantom, wherever you are. You can work your armies like a puppeteer all you want, but this is my play! Here is the city that you have saved. Without the psychic amplifier, which you so rashly destroyed, I no longer have much use for it. Behold the power of Mother Russia! Good afternoon, Commander. The President and the European Council are ready for you. Please hang on while I put you through. Ah, Commander, I'm glad you could make it. The European Council and I have been discussing an aid package... The possibility. The possibility of an aid package for the U.S. The nuclear attack on Chicago seems to have sparked their interest. Do not think us indifferent to your situation, Mr. President. But for us, the United States is very far away. Commander, the point is, we've agreed to exchange Agent Tanya's services on this operation for soldiers and supplies from the Alliance. Provided our conditions are met, I am prepared to take command immediately. Now you just hold on a second, okay? This is my operation. We all need leaders, Agent. No? We have no time to train this guy, Mr. President. You want my men, you hook me up with my commander. And that's my condition. Very well. If you're on board, Commander, and it looks like you've been drafted, the Prime Minister will give you the details. The objects you see in the second photograph are Soviet missile silos. As you can see, Commander, they are a bit too close for comfort. I believe Romanov's intention is to keep us out of your war. Our men will go nowhere until this threat is eliminated. Take care of these silos. And this war may be close to an end. We're counting on you, Commander. Looks like we're in. Our spies have infiltrated the Soviets' battle labs and relayed the specs on their silo locations. I'm ready to rock and roll, Commander. So let's take out those silos and head on home. It's getting a little chilly over here. Looks like our crack spy team's been compromised. I could use a couple more. And let's not use the Italian spies this time, okay? Sir, be on the lookout for Soviet guard dogs. They've been released to sniff out our spies. I gotta hand it to you, kid. I've never seen Tanya stick her neck out for anybody. She's on an assignment back home, but she did ask me to convey any regards that she could uh, muster. Well, and, uh, at any rate, you, you must have really impressed those Germans, too. In appreciation, their chancellor has put us in touch with their leading citizen. Dr. Einstein, you still there? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I am here. One moment. Well, Commander, you know, of course, that war, it is not my vocation. I am only a scientist. But Soviet Premier Romanov and his generals, they will stop at nothing to rule the minds and the bodies of everyone on the planet. And they do have the psychic technology to do this. 
But I too, I know a few tricks. These are plans for a prism tower. Your president, he has expressed great interest in its application. Thanks, Doc. Commander, the Reds have established a forward base near DC with the ability to deploy Tesla coils. Now, they're pretty well entrenched, but I think if we can take the capital back, we can turn the tide. I'm tired of hanging out in Canada. Get me my office back. Sir, the Soviets have released their terror drones. If our tanks get too close, these mechanical arachnids will tear them to shreds. Yeah, Commander, I have something very interesting to show you. Please, Peter, I want you to take a look. You see, when Prism Tower X, it is placed close to Prism Tower Y. The energy produced by the central tower will be increased by a factor of X over Y times two. Beautiful, yeah? <laughs> no, no rest for the weary, Commander. Sorry to wake you, but General Carville has called an emergency debriefing scheduled to begin in, um, right now. Good morning, Commander. I've got good news and bad news. Good news is it's uh, great to be home again. The bad news is our U-2s picked up a fleet of uh, Soviet ships entering the South Pacific. It appears that General Vladimir is headed for Pacific Command Center in Pearl Harbor, as if they could mount a successful attack against us. <laughs> I want you to prepare a genuine aloha for... Uh, that little bulldog, Vladimir. Oh, and uh, get yourself a cup of coffee, Commander. You look deader than the Texas armadillo. Sir, this is not looking good. If we don't get relief soon, we're finished. Well, job in Hawaii, Commander. I know you have your heart set on seeing the beach at Waikiki, but... We have new business in St. Louis. The heart of Missouri is now the beating breast of all our ground control operations for the country. We'd be in sorry shape without her. The problem is that Yuri and his psychic corps have dropped another psychic beacon in the town. I never wanted to send you in against our own citizens. But those psychic beacons are turning upstanding Americans into Soviet-controlled killers. Move fast, move wisely and try not to hurt any of my constituents, all right? Unfortunately, you may have to. Tanya's strike team is in place and standing by, but we can't tell how long they can go before the beacon takes its effect on them. One moment, Commander. Oh, she's not kidding, Commander. If we don't move fast enough, we'll all become slaves to Romanov and his slime ball Yuri. You understand what I'm saying? There's nothing worse for a soldier than losing her mind. Trusting you. Pick up camera! Pick up the camera! No, no, here. Uh, on me, you thug! Good. Hey, Commander. Hmm. Don't you think it's time to call it quits? Mm -hmm. Why fight the inevitable? It's not too late to join the winners. <laughs> Commander, we think you're going to like this one. It's Einstein's prism tech on wheels. The boys at the lab call it a prism tank. Careful not to burn yourself. Forces retreated or surrendered in several key areas today. Find out where on War Watch at 9. Don't get too comfortable, Commander. Romanov still has plenty of fight left. Apparently, the Soviets thought we wouldn't notice this research facility in the Yucatan. By these readings, we can see that they're trying to replicate Einstein's prism technology. 
Your destination is the ruined Mayan city of Tulum, near the Caribbean coast. We're para-dropping a SEAL team to help you locate and destroy the facility. Think you're gonna like these guys. Commander, the SEAL team has liberated a group of local freedom fighters. They were kind enough to give us the location of a Soviet research facility in exchange for the opportunity to fight by our side. I didn't think you'd mind. No rest for the wicked, Commander. We're both being shipped to Germany. I'm going to Berlin where we're planning our final thrust. Now, Romanov is no fool. He's hitting us pretty hard over there. His main target is Einstein's Black Forest Lab. I want you to hook up with the locals. Keep him the Sam Hill away from that lab. Einstein is our ace in the hole. We can't afford to lose him. Off Wieders thing. Something very exciting for you, Commander. It is called my Mirage Tank. It has the wonderful ability to take on the exact appearance of any organic object it targets. Observe. You see? Isn't she wonderful? Commander, I've established an uplink with SpySat. It should be coming online as we speak. Wait, wait. Apocalypse tanks. On the roll. Be careful, sir. We're all very sorry about General Carville, Commander. The Soviets have been using their crazy Ivans everywhere. Carville always said that you would be the one to lead us to victory. And it seems that you're proving him right. Commander, I have Professor Einstein on closed circuit channel 2. Allow me to say Dankeschön, Commander. Thank you for saving my home. I have something to, how shall we say, even the score, yeah? You are aware, yeah, of my chronosphere, a device which it is capable of moving matter through time and through space. I have thought many long days and nights to find the perfect place where to deploy this weapon. There is only one small problem. The perfect place, it is to be found here on a tiny island in the Florida Keys, just a few short kilometers from Soviet Cuba. I, I must get back to work. This is the intel I've been able to gather regarding the Soviet nukes in the area. They'll make chronosphere deployment a real challenge. Good luck, Commander. This message goes out to hidden Commander, who continues to dance, but ceases to amuse. Now is time to submit to Soviet supremacy, Commander. After you feel pain from my nuclear bombs, you will wish for another chance. I warned you we would destroy you, Commander. Now that warning will... What? Disabled. The missiles can be disabled. But... Uh... Yeah. Your time is up, Commander! And you will be crushed! Very soon! Commander, I thought I'd seen everything, but this takes the cake. You guessed it, mind-controlled squid. Intelligence informs me that effective countermeasures involve specially trained dolphins, which are now at your disposal. What's next? Killer whales? Good luck, Commander. He served his country well, a proud American. And I know Carville would have been proud to see you succeed him as Commander General of the Allied Forces. General, we need you to take us the rest of the way. Next stop, the Kremlin. 
Special Agent Tanya has the job of moving inside the Kremlin and finding Romanov, who will pay for all the millions of innocent lives he took. Remember, we're still outnumbered three to one, so we'll be marching everyone we can through the chronosphere and the keys. Once they appear in Russia, they're all yours, Commander. Take the Kremlin, Commander. Let's end this war. Commander, reports from our chrono troops in the field indicate you are all clear. They're ready to receive your MCV. Well, Commander, I have learned it is never a good idea to play around with the forces of nature. But with this evil Romanov running loose again, we have no choice. This weather control device provides very advanced manipulation of the weather patterns. These are God's toys, Commander. Use them wisely. Yeah. After months of brutal fighting, Allied forces have captured Soviet Premier Romanov and his Kremlin command post late this afternoon in a dizzying show of high technology and good old military discipline. Much of the credit for the amazing success of the Allied campaign goes to a little-known commander from... When you're done patting yourself on the back, I have a little proposition for you. The President has invited you, us, to his victory gala at the White House tonight. I thought maybe you'd want to ride. Just listen for the sound of the healers. Oh, and for heaven's sake, get the showers, soldier. Comrade General, my name is Lieutenant Zofia. It will be my job to see that your command runs smoothly. I have assisted in over 50 successful campaign simulations since the Great War. I believe you will be more than satisfied with my services. Please stand by, comrade. It is Premier Romanov himself. If the lovely Lieutenant Sofia has finished pushing for promotion, I would like some time with my general, please. Of course, Premier. Comrade General, welcome to the future of Soviet Union. I wanted to introduce you to my little friend. This is Sam. Like Uncle Sam. Say hello, little uncle. <laughs> the Americans. They have Turtle and Children's film. It teaches them to fear Soviet Union. The little turtle sees big Russian missiles coming. And it ducks. And it covers. Duck. Cover. <laughs> Today we will make history, comrade. Together we will destroy the United States. Their cities, their homes, their dreams, and perhaps more. This is my advisor, Yuri. He will help make this possible. I am but a servant of the Soviet Union like you. However, at this moment we must hurry. Time is of the essence. Of course. Comrade, your first objective will be Washington, D.C. Show us that we were right to let you sit at our table, Comrade General. Crush the Allies in the American capital and destroy the Pentagon. Comrade General, you may wish to move your psychic commanders closer to the enemy. You will find their persuasive power very useful. Congratulations, Comrade General! See how the American President Dugan ducks for cover! <laughs> 
This is the coastal state of Florida. The Americans have a big naval base in the area. They could strike anywhere from New York to Havana. Comrade, you will need to build a naval base of your own with submarines to keep the weak Allied Navy from reaching open sea. General Vladimir, who needs no introduction, will oversee the operation and provide you with support from his command ship. Tazadanya. Good luck. <laughs> but of course, comrade, show us what you can do. But don't think that I will allow you to order me around. Romanov can say what he likes. Out there, you follow me, and I will be watching you every step of the way. Comrade General, General Vladimir is calling for you to clear out coastal defenses. It could be a good time for you to build up your naval base. Now is the time to strike! Glory to the motherland! But sir, we are not ready. Not enough submarines are built for- Nonsense! I could destroy this American Navy with a little rubber dog. General! It appears we might have underestimated Allied forces. What are you waiting for, General? Do something! Our nation's top leaders presided over the parade today in Red Square to celebrate the ongoing victory over the United States. Premier Romanov himself presented the Order of Stalin to the hero of the campaign, General Vladimir. We both know the truth, comrade. Just because Vladimir can retreat to Moscow more quickly does not mean he should take all credit, right? But no matter, let me share something with you. The human brain is a Pandora's box of electrical charges we can only begin to understand. Most brains are but receivers. However, some are advanced, sending and receiving charges as they choose. This is my psychic beacon. With it, we can send any message we want. We will construct this device everywhere. In the end, the Americans will be ours. Mind, body, and if you like, soul. Comrade, begin the psychic invasion in New York City. A victory there could not possibly escape Romanov's eyes. The General, the Premier requests that you capture the pathetic capitalist shrine in New York called the World Trade Center. After you overwhelm the American defenses in the area, plant a psychic beacon to secure our control. Form up! All ships at the ready! We have a situation that requires your immediate attention, Comrade General. The Republic of Korea has made a move we did not anticipate. I am tracking Korean vessels en route to what I expect to be a landing near Vladivostok. Comrade General, Premier requests your immediate attention. I'll put you through. Ah, Comrade! I was just reassuring Comrade Yuri we have nothing to fear from the Republic of Korea. Perhaps the Premier is forgetting he must remind the world of his eminence. Yes. Well, yes. But do not be troubled. The general here, after doing so well with New York, surely can handle the threat. Perhaps. But I, I think we should call Vladimir. As you wish, Comrade Premier. On I <laughs> General. <laughs> Da! He is war hero. He needs rest. <laughs> Take care of the Republic of Korea, comrade. Show them how we treat our enemies. Soviet general, we have made our stronghold in your motherland. Prepare for your defense. Comrade, I have just received a demonstration brief of our terrifying new anti-armor weapon. 
they are affectionately referred to as terror drones. Do you like Comrade? I thought you might like to play rough in battle. States reeling from one bloody blow after the other, President Michael Dugan today called to European allies from an unknown location. I now ask for your help. The United States was Romanov's first target. Join our fight, or we will not be his last. French General René Lyon has asked for a massive Allied commitment, but so far the countries have been slow to up. Comrade, it appears we have overestimated the cowardice of our European neighbors. It seems the French gathered together with the German army along the Polish border. But these fools have left their homelands exposed. Show them the meaning of Soviet irony. Invade Paris and use our Tesla technology to short-circuit their plans. Leave nothing. If you are prepared, the general, your strike team is assembled in Paris. I always like the city of lights. Pity we cannot be there in person when the lights go out. General, we must move closer to the tower if we are to secure a good charge. Parisians fleeing their homes today is absolute chaos, Jim. We don't even know if there's a president out there to call. Wait! The United States is at its knees. We owe this victory to superior leadership on the part of yourself and General Vladimir. Thank you. Your greatness is only exceeded by your general. I am expect your announcement to greet our latest success. I am now promoting Yuri as Supreme Commander of Soviet Armed Forces. What? Effective immediately. You are behind this, Yuri. I know this for a fact. It appears all Vladimir is unhappy. Pity. We have work to do, General. The Allied Pacific Fleet gathers near Hawaii. You are destroyed the Allied fleet at Pearl Harbor and establish a new presence for us. General, I detect Republic of Korea reinforcements en route. If they reach Pearl Harbor, it will be very difficult to overpower the Allied fleets. Brilliant move, comrade. With Kauai Airport in our hands, we can send paratroopers anywhere you desire. General, we must be closer to the Tesla coils to charge it up. A good charge will help increase the range of our weapons. General, good evening. Brilliant as usual, I see. However, I have sad news. Vladimir, you should hear this too before it goes public. Premier Romanov has fallen ill and will no longer be able to perform his duties. Really? But that is not our immediate concern. The Allies have turned to the German professor Albert Einstein, who has built for them a chronosphere, a mass teleportation device. My intelligence sources have pinpointed their first target, our own research laboratory in the Ural Mountains. It is my belief that the Allies will attempt to steal our plans for their new apocalypse tank. Oh. And did your intelligence not warn you that Einstein would get involved? Or is he not vulnerable to your vulturous mind? That will be enough! You are a traitor! And a fool if you think that I will let you get Enough, away General Vladimir! My tanks, my Consider soul. yourself dismissed! And count your days. General, defend our mountains. I'll give the Premier your best wishes. Something you should be aware of. General Carville has stationed a truck near one of our villages. He has been broadcasting capitalist propaganda in an attempt to turn our own people against us. I think we should send a few dogs to sniff out enemy spies. Generals, soldiers, comrades, it is a sad day. Premier Alexander Romanov, so recently ill in bed, has been brutally murdered by General Vladimir. No! General Vladimir! As of this moment, 9.15, the evening, 
General Vladimir is a non-person. He is now considered refused to be collected. I sense that he is holed up here at the White House, home of the corrupt. Capture the White House and find this non-person. Then you can erase him as we have already erased his name. You are a fool, General. Yuri is playing you like a puppet. You will never capture General Vladimir. Нет, нет! Я нашел его! General, do not listen to Yuri's lies. He is not. Pay no attention, Comrade General. He no longer means anything to us. We now have a more important task at hand. The American President Dubin has surfaced here in San Antonio, Texas. Perhaps he intends to retreat to the Alamo. We capture him and bring him under our control. Listen to me, you Soviet scum. You can root around all you want, but you'll never find me. And you'll never take me. You call yourself a general? <laughs> We're laughing at you, Red. time we had a talk, you and I. When the Soviet Union was new, there were those of us that Stalin turned to for our particular skills. We were trained to turn men's minds to our will. This is Stalin's psychic legacy. I tell you this, because you are too smart not to be curious. We have situation that odd little man Einstein has provided the Allies with a device that harnesses the energy from storm clouds overhead. Almost whimsical, but effective. Destroy this device with the nuclear missiles I will provide you, and get our forces moving again. General, by now I have folded Vladimir's command into yours. The weather control device appears to be here in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Sir? I am not quite clear on your intentions, but if you have a move in mind, now is the time to tell me. I think you will like this, General. The demolitions expert known as Crazy Ivan is among your forces here. He will be well suited for the task at hand. Comrade General, the weapon is powering up. We are dangerously close to it. Be careful, Comrade. They are even more powerful than they are obedient. The immense strength of my squid giants is only vulnerable to the specially trained and enhanced allied attack dolphins. Comrade General, you are proving even more tenacious than I thought. What a great threat you are to your enemies. Do me this favor. Grace me with your presence in Moscow, so I may thank you in person. Before you go anywhere, you should see this. It arrived today. To be mailed in the event of Premier's death. If you have received this, then I, I presume by now I am finally dead. I'm losing. I don't know how to... Oh, Mother Russia, I'm forgetting words. Bah! Yuri, he is controlling my mind. He has killed me. If I am gone now, the command is yours. Send this tape far and wide. Take my country back for the glory of Russia and the spirit of justice. I think you are satisfied now, Doc. Yuri has his own stronghold here outside Moscow, and he's amassing his own forces. But the bulk of the army is yours. Don't, don't speak, General. They are listening for you now. If we do not speak again, it has been an honor to serve you. Thank you, General. These are my men now. I can always use more. Be warned, Comrade General. Yuri has rebuilt the Iron Curtain. 
It will make his troops invulnerable for a period of time. No, no one will ever catch us off guard now, comrade. I have obtained plans for the psychic sensor. This device will warn us of any troop movements within its range. We can sleep well once again. While the, the nation has lost its beloved premier and its great general Vladimir at the hands of the traitor Yuri, we all turn our eyes to the supreme commander who still fights the bloody battle against the allied forces. General, I have accessed Yuri's files and he has provided us, shall we say, with a parting gift. The Allies think we do not know about this chronosphere in Alaska, from which they hope to launch a full-scale invasion. This is all they have left. It will be good to crush their hopes. And when it is done, you will be ready to become Premier of the world. Comrade General, I must warn you, the Allied chronosphere could be our undoing. The first step is a swift naval assault. They will not be expecting us here, and that will be their undoing. Where citizens are honoring the new Soviet premier. We will now go to London. People in the streets, truly the finest hour is premier. It has been decades since we've seen anything quite like this. Uh, wait, uh, here comes the new premier himself. It would have been good to see inside your mind, General. I still may get a chance. What the devil is going on, Lieutenant? He surfaced, Mr. President. I'm sure you all recognize this man. We know him only as Yuri, fugitive advisor to Soviet Premier Romanov. While we were busy fighting the Soviets, Yuri was using his mind control technology to establish a secret army of his own. A group of Yuri's initiates have taken Alcatraz Island here in San Francisco. They've constructed some sort of device there. What kind of device? Perhaps I can explain, Mr. President. Yuri. The device is called the Psychic Dominator. There is a network of such devices spread across the globe. More of your mind control tricks? No tricks, Mr. President. In a few moments, I will unleash a tidal wave of psychic energy designed to dominate the minds of an entire planet. There will be no more free will, only my will. Yuri, 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 the war's over. Can't we all just get along? What if I was to give you a full presidential pardon? Your country needs a leader. It could be you. Why should I be content to lead one nation if I can control the whole world, Mr. President? You can't threaten us. We're the most powerful nation on Earth. We did win the war, you know. Did you? Indeed. I say not. 
Mr. President, something's happening. The device is beginning to deploy. Call in an airstrike. I want that tower taken out. Command, this is Mojo One. We are on station. Roger, Mojo One. Target is located on Alcatraz Island, Vector 270, at 10 miles. Target acquired. Engage, engage. Francisco, the psychic dominator on Alcatraz will not function. Most unfortunate. But we have other devices. I think time has come to activate them. really going to do it. May God help us all. The situation looks bad, Commander. Yuri's forces have successfully detonated two of his psychic dominator devices, turning much of the planet into mindless Yuri drones. Luckily, the device here in San Francisco seems to be underpowered. It hasn't been activated yet. Stand by, Commander. I have Special Agent Tanya on the line. There may be a way out of this, Commander. Doc Einstein has a new toy. Now, it hasn't been tested yet, but it might be our only way out of this. All right, Doc? Uh, Doc? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is my prototype temporal displacement device. I believe we can use it to transport your forces backwards in time. With luck, you may be able to avert the psychic dominator disaster before it has begun. But we don't have a lot of time, Commander. Yuri's forces are trying to capture power plants throughout the city to divert power to the Psychic Dominator. Well, the docks machine needs power, too. So you have to get out there and you have to capture power plants yourself. Hey, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I'm a field op. I'm not a strategist. And I hate to admit it, but right now, I wish General Carver was still alive. If my device works, Miss Tanya, you may get your wish. When you return to the past, contact my earlier self. I may be able to help, yeah. My machine is just south of the Golden Gate Bridge. Commander, the time machine is powered up. We're ready to make the time shift. Woohoo! Let's shake it, baby. Hang on, this is going to be a close one. I fear you are out of time. Don't worry. It will be quite painless, and life will be so much simpler for you with no freedom of will. You did it, Commander. The time shift was successful. Yeah, but we couldn't have come at a worse time. We're sitting right in the middle of the first Soviet occupation. Use the Grand Cannons to soften up the Soviets, and when you give me the word, I'll swim to Alcatraz and I'll turn that psychic dominator into scrap metal. Traveling back in time gives us another opportunity, Commander. President Dugan asked me to contact an old friend once we arrived. I hope you're sitting down. Well, Commander, 
From what I understand, the future ain't what it used to be. Now, our job is to set it right. According to Executive Order 9066, which, uh, by the way, won't be written for another couple of months. You know, a man could blow a fuse getting his mind around this time travel stuff here. Anyway, the gist of this thing is that we're involved until the bitter end. We got a job to do, son. The lieutenant will fill you in. Commander, Yuri has taken control of Hollywood using mind control technology. He's begun to use the media to spread subliminal propaganda. Here's a sample, with the subliminal mind control properties filtered out. We fight a lie or death struggle against the powers of capitalism. Only complete faith in Yuri can protect you. Only total compliance will save the lives of you and your family. Empty your mind and submit to my will. The less you know, the better off you will be. I'm Yuri. Obey me. Your MCV is in position near the Los Angeles International Airport. Commander, the enemy is using a horrifying new technology. This is a grinder. These devices can break down anything, be it mechanical or organic. They're feeding these grinders with captive civilians, reducing them to raw materials used to fund their war efforts. These Hollywood civilians are pretty tough characters, Commander. They might be able to help you. We're receiving a streaming video feed via a satellite uplink, Commander. It's from Chairman Bing, the trillionaire CEO of the Massive Soft Corporation in Seattle, Washington. I'm patching it through now. I don't know how long I'll be able to stay online. Yuri's forces are crawling all over the Massive Soft campus. He's built a nuclear missile silo, and he's threatening to nuke Seattle unless I fund his war effort. He's also forcing our R&D department to some sort of special project. Looks to me like it's some um, genetic software. Satellite recon confirms that Yuri has got an operational silo in the area. Attention, Allied Commander. Your unprovoked attack will not go unpunished. Seattle is mine. Pull your forces out of the area, or I will launch a nuclear strike and reduce the city to ash. Nuclear strike has severely crippled our base, Commander. If you capture several power plants, you might be able to bring the weather control device back online and strike back. I'm making a healthy donation to your war fund. Immediately. I have terrible news, Commander. Professor Einstein has been captured. We believe Yuri plans to force him to help improve the Psychic Dominator technology. With the Professor's help, Yuri could finish the Psychic Dominator network even sooner. We cannot let that happen! Wait. <sighs> Looks like I'm out of commission for a while, Commander. Finish what we started. I'm down, but I'm not out. <sighs> Let's go! Commander, you will be pleased to know that my work for the enemy was not totally without some benefit. I have sabotaged the Psychic Dominator. Yeah, you can use it against Yuri's forces. However, it will most likely blow up after the first time you use it. Espionage, you see, it is not my vocation. Professor to a secret base here in Egypt. Help me across the river, Commander, and I'll make your life a whole lot easier. Snatch the good doctor from Yuri's goons and be out of there before they even know what hit him. When our spy satellites have spotted a huge laboratory facility in Australia, now this has got to be where Yuri has his cloning operation. Intel's gotten wind of his plans. He intends to kidnap key allied leaders and replace them with clones. Commander, 
Some of our best operatives gave their lives to get this information. Let's make that sacrifice mean something. Take out that lab! Yuri's cloning facility is located in Sydney, Australia. Yuri is using genetic technology to modify his own troops. We're picking up a fleet of enemy subs moving on your position, Commander. These must be Yuri's boomers. We think these deep water submarines are armed with torpedoes as well as heavy missiles capable of bombarding onshore targets. Good news and bad news, Commander. The outcome of the war wasn't changed. The Soviets have surrendered. The bad news is, Yuri's still at large. The world leaders aren't taking any chances. They're meeting at a classified location to sign the treaty with the Soviets. Per the General's orders, restrict. Good day, Lieutenant. Where is this top secret meeting of world leaders? I... I... can't... Tell me. London... London, England. Parliament building. What the blazes is going on? We've got an unauthorized transmission. Cut the satellite link. Well, blow it to kingdom come if you have to. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Since he can't clone the Allied leaders, he's bound to try a more direct approach. They're meeting in London right now to ratify the treaty with the Soviets. Get to London ASAP, Commander. And you, get a medic out to the lieutenant. This is a very important meeting, Commander. If this treaty is ratified, the Soviet forces will join us in the battle against Yuri. We cannot win, Commander. Soon the full Romanov will be dead, and the Allied leaders will be under my control. Soon you will beg for my mercy and forgiveness. Perhaps you will live as a mindless slave. This might amuse me. Was some fine work, Commander. The treaty has been signed. Commander, I failed you. I put the whole operation in jeopardy when I told Yuri that the world leaders were meeting in London. As of this moment, I'm tending my resignation. Oh, gosh! You're a vital part of this team, Lieutenant. If you think you're the only officer ever to have his brain twisted by that maniac, you're free to leave. Otherwise, I won't hear any more foolishness about resignations. Are you with us? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, let's concentrate on finding this madman before he can do any more damage. General, I think I have something. Well, let's hear it. I've been triangulating Yuri's transmission, sir. I believe I've tracked his location. Good to have you back, Lieutenant. Well, I'll be dipped in molasses. He's holed up in the Antarctic. Okay, this is it, Commander. The whole enchilada. Prepare to move out! Our forces will deploy at Tierra del Fuego, at the southernmost tip of South America. I have a surprise for you, Comrade General. A new device called Genetic Mutator. You've met my brutes on the battlefield? With this device, I can convert any of your pathetic infantry into a loyal brood. Loyal to me, that is. <laughs> Listen to me. You will obey. You behave, or there'll be no dessert tonight. I'm Yuri. You will obey. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a nice, safe spot for him to live out his days. Professor Einstein calls it a psychic isolation chamber. <laughs> Thanks to you, Commander, he won't be able to mind control a fly. What the heck's going on? We're picking up a time distortion wave, General. It is the two timelines, Lieutenant! 
They are merging. One series of events must take precedence over the other. Timelines merging in three, two, one. We are now at DEFCON 2. What the devil is going on, Lieutenant? He's surfaced, Mr. President. How you been, Mr. President? General Carville? How? Did you ever hear of time travel, sir? What do you think? The president's having a victory bash at the White House tonight, so I thought maybe you might... You coming, Commander? That wasn't supposed to happen. Professor! Doc! Yeah, you still have that time machine, right? Good. Could you send me back in time two hours? I don't think you got your timeline straight. Catch you on the replay. Come on, the General. It is pleasant to see you again, even under these circumstances. The traitor Yuri has activated two of his psychic dominator devices. Cities around the world are falling under his power. However, we have discovered a plan by the Americans to alter the events of the past few hours. Stand by, comrade. I'm receiving an encrypted message from a secured wavelength. He's good to see loyal face, comrade general. However, there is little time. Allies are creating new technology for traveling backward in time. The Americans plan to use this machine to go back early in war. There, they will destroy your psychic dominator devices before they can be completed. Comrade General, if you can capture this American time machine, we might have opportunity to change history and assure Soviet victory. The fate of Soviet Union of entire world rests in your hands. Oh, I must go. Comrade Sophia has a recorded message to give this to my best self. Das Vadanya, Comrade General. The time machine is located to the south of the Golden Gate Bridge. We have escaped into the past, Comrade General. But I am afraid that our superior Soviet engineers increased the efficiency of the American power plants too much. We have arrived more than 65 million years in the past. Stand by, Comrade, while we attempt another time shift. Well, well done, Comrade General. We have arrived at our destination. So, Comrade. I am understanding you come from dark and terrible future. According to report I received from your communications officer, allies will win war by using sneaky device called Chronosphere to invade Moscow. You must go to Germany. Destroy this, uh, Einstein's laboratory before he can invent this chronosphere device. Allies will give up their foolish resistance and join our glorious Soviet cause. Then together, we take care of traitor Yuri! In our timeline, we outnumbered the Allies in this battle. Still, our force is lost. Have you seen State News magazine? War is over, Comrade General! The Allies have surrendered! Now they fight with us against the traitor Yuri! All of Soviet people are full of gratefulness to you! Nazadrovinya! 
Our special intelligence operatives report another psychic dominator device being constructed in London. Our Premier wants us to destroy it before Yuri can react. Yuri's psychic dominator is somewhere in London. How do you do this, Comrade General? Without me, the Soviet Union would be only a tiny little province in the American Empire. I think only of our destiny. <laughs> no matter. These other troops are weak-minded. They now fight for me. Prepare for your death. They'll be swift. I promise you. <laughs> Excellent, sir. The Allied forces are free from Yuri's control. Hmm. The Allies' special agent, Tanya, is on the line for you. I'll put her through. <clears throat> uh, I never thought I'd be saying this to a commie, but, um, thanks. All right, this Yuri is going down. So we're ready to follow your orders. But you better know what you're doing, because if my men get slaughtered, you're going to have to answer to me. You got that, comrade? Comrade General, I have very bad news. Premier Romanov's plane was shot down while returning to Moscow. The aircraft went down over Morocco. We believe that the Premier is alive and hiding somewhere in the city. Forces have captured the only airport in the area. Even now they search for our leader. You must find the Premier before the enemy does. This is a message for my old comrade Romanov. Turn yourself in, comrade Premier, and I promise you asylum with my forces. Remain in hiding, and you will surely die. The comrade general is a traitor to the Soviet people. Their destiny, and the destiny of the entire world, lies with me. All the bars in all the world! Look who is walking into this one! Welcome, Comrade General! We are having the beginning of a beautiful friendship, I think. Ah, my good friend! I am back where I belong, sound and safe. Traitor Yuri is building fleet of boomer submarines. These can launch missiles at any city of his choosing. Zofia will tell you more. You must be careful, comrade. Yuri has many more surprises planned for us, I think. Yuri's secret submarine base is located on this small island in South Pacific. General, the purpose of this base is now clear. It is a launch facility. The rocket itself appears to be a pressurized spacecraft. The Premier wishes to know the destination of this spacecraft. Well done, Comrade General! We have analyzed flight plan of this rocket ship. It is programmed to fly to the moon. We must find out why. You have cosmonaut training, yes? Liftoff was without complications, Comrade General. You'll achieve lunar orbit in moments. Your retro rockets should fire automatically to allow for a smooth landing. Take care, my General. You have many reasons to return safely, no? Retro rockets will fire in three, two, one. Your spacecraft has landed, Comrade General. Finally, Soviets have reached the moon! One baby step for Comrade General, one giant leap for Soviet people, yes? <laughs> Spacecraft's computer has revealed Yuri's plan to us. Yuri's moon base is nearby. 
He will evacuate to this base with an army of clones once the Psychic Dominator network has been activated. The base must be eliminated. Some of our vehicles have been modified for use on the lunar surface, but conventional troops cannot survive here. Congratulations, Comrade General! Or should I say, Cosmonaut General! We have discovered the traitor's location. Yuri commands his forces from his ancestral home in Transylvania. He is like Monster from movies, yes! <laughs> I am certain he has new skin for world domination. End this comrade general. Destroy castle and crush him beneath the stones. This could be your most dangerous mission, Comrade General. The entire world watches and waits. To have come this far only to fail now, it is unthinkable. You must not fail. Forgive me for speaking frankly, but it might help you to know that upon your return I hope to see you in Moscow. Winter there is cold, yes? But this winter could be different. Located Yuri's fortress. It now, Comrade General, or you will witness the power of my genetic mutator. This device will transform ordinary troops, even those of my enemy, into fearsome, genetically enhanced brutes under my control. <laughs> The castle has been taken, my general. I knew you would be victorious. Comrade General, we are picking up an energy buildup beneath the castle. The signature wave is consistent with distortion wave of the time machine. I found your little device in San Francisco. Repairing it was a simple matter. It is too late, comrade. The entire world and all of its history is mine to command. We still have the Time Machine's command codes, Comrade General. I have overridden the controls and released all of the energy reserves. If you remember, we ourselves experienced some difficulty when too much energy was channeled into the machine. The machine's energy reserves have been depleted. Yuri cannot use the machine without additional power. He will be trapped in time. What is that? Who is there? Thanks to the time travelers, the traitor Yuri has been defeated. Soviet troops parading down Wall Street as the stock market closed for New golden age of space exploration, thanks to Premier Romanov and his bold new program. He knows what the future may hold as communism leaves the boundaries of our planet and expands across the solar system.
millions of Command & Conquer fans around the world, we got a present for you. Reinforcements en route. Hand of Nod under attack. Enemy presence detected.